I have a question for you. Why do you drink coffee or why don't you drink coffee? Before we dive in, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take a moment to comment below. Do you drink coffee? Why or why not? Sharing your experience can help others in this community reflect on their own choices and learn from each other. That's really important that we do this as a grassroots effort. So, so let's begin this video. Coffee is one of the most satisfying drinks we consume. And for many of us, it's more than just a beverage. It's a ritual, uh, a comfort, and sometimes a little pick-me-up to help us get through our day. But as we dive into the nuances of health and nutrition, especially as carnivores, it's worth taking a moment to ask a simple question. Is coffee truly serving us or could it be actually holding us back? Let's start with the benefits of coffee. Coffee is more than just a source of caffeine. It's a drink that's packed with over a thousand bioactive compounds. Among these, antioxidants stand out as some of the most beneficial. Antioxidants like chlorogenic acid and polyphenols in coffee help fight free radicals in the body, reducing oxidative stress and potentially lowering the risk of chronic diseases. Research has shown that regular coffee consumption might be linked to a reduced risk of several conditions, including type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and even some types of cancer such, such as liver and colorectal cancer. Coffee can also have a positive impact on mental health and brain function. The caffeine in coffee acts as a stimulant blocking adenosine, a neurotransmitter that promotes sleepiness. This can lead to increased alertness, improved focus, and even enhance short-term memory. Long-term coffee consumption has been associated with a reduced risk of Alzheimer's and dementia, likely due to its anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective effects. For those who are physically active, coffee can enhance athletic performance. Studies suggest that caffeine increases adrenaline levels, improving endurance and strength during workouts. It may also help the body burn fat more efficiently, making it a popular pre-workout choice for many fitness enthusiasts. Another potential benefit of coffee is its role in liver health. Research has shown that regular coffee drinkers may have a lower risk of developing liver diseases such as cirrhosis and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. For individuals managing metabolic health, moderate coffee intake might even support better blood glucose regulation, although this effect can vary depending on the person. For some, coffee is also a source of key nutrients. While not a significant contributor to daily nutrition, particularly when you think about anti-nutrients, coffee contains small amounts of essential vitamins and minerals like vitamin B2, magnesium, and potassium. Over time, these micronutrients can contribute to the overall health when coffee is consumed on a regular basis. But as with all things, there's a flip side. Coffee isn't without its potential downsides, guys. And for some people, those downsides might outweigh the potential benefits. For instance, coffee can irritate the gut lining, potentially increasing the risk for leaky gut and exacerbating symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, which is something I've personally struggled with. It's also a stimulant that can help disrupt sleep even if consumed earlier in the day. And for some, coffee can lead to dependency. We wake up feeling sluggish, but not because we truly need coffee, but because our bodies have become conditioned to rely on it for energy instead of prioritizing better sleep. Proper hydration or balanced movement is more important than relying on coffee. And as a clinician, I've seen how these effects can vary drastically from person to person. Some people tolerate coffee just fine, 
is their comfort, their joy, and they don't seem to experience any negative symptoms. For others, however, it can be a hidden culprit behind fatigue, anxiety, digestive discomfort, or even poor sleep quality. For me, coffee has been a tricky relationship. While I enjoy the taste and the, the moments of calm I feel when I drink it, I've noticed that it doesn't always agree with my body. Specifically, it can trigger flare-ups in my gut, making me question if the pleasure I get from it is worth the price I sometimes pay. So I personally tend to avoid coffee unless I 100% need it to get through my day, to be more alert. That said, this video isn't, isn't about telling you what to do. It's not about creating guilt or judgment around whether you drink coffee or not. Instead, it's about encouraging curiosity and self-awareness. The truth is, we're all different and what works for one person may not work for another. As much as I can share studies or clinical insights, the most important evidence you'll ever have is how you feel. If you're someone who loves coffee and feels great while drinking it, that's wonderful. I say enjoy it. But if you've been struggling with energy, digestion, or sleep, it might be worth experimenting with reducing or even eliminating coffee for a time to see how your body responds. And if you're somewhere in between, maybe you enjoy coffee but notice some downsides, this might be an opportunity to ask yourself, are the benefits worth it for me or could I explore other ways to meet my needs? Ultimately, the goal here isn't perfection. It's about making informed decisions that align with your unique health goals and values. I want to emphasize that as a community, especially one focused on metabolic health, we should strive to support and respect each other's choices. Rather you're sipping a cup of coffee right now or you've sworn it off entirely, your journey is valid and it's yours to navigate. I'll close with this, guys. Health is a series of experiments. It's about trying things, observing how they make you feel, and being willing to adjust as needed. When it comes to coffee or any aspect of your diet or lifestyle, the question isn't rather is inherently good or bad. The question is, does it serve you? Let me know in the comments, do you drink coffee and if so, why? Or if you don't, what made you stop? I'd love to hear your experiences. And as always, I thank you for watching and being part of this wonderful community. Let's continue to learn, grow, and make choices that empower us to live our very best lives. I'll see you in the next video.